That's a bit. It's a bit rude, isn't it? Just parking in here without being in introduced. Like. I talked about him doing a burnout. He was going to do a big old fatty. Uh, there is two marks down there where I, I did that baby reveal. The baby reveal, yeah. Boys are in town. Oh, did it purr? I'm just trying to use fuel up, really. Yeah. <laughs> I got to take the tank down. Vent in the lot or something. I don't know. Welcome back, everyone. This weekend, we're Pete's house. And uh, we're going to be doing something a little different. Hopefully you'll find it interesting. It's kind of a little science experiment we're going to run. Some people we're... put batteries in the back, we put them in the front. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, <laughs> we're trying to figure out Pete's uh, starting problem. The new engine is uh, requiring a little bit more juice and it's uh, hard to crank, especially when it's hot. But the battery you know, she's warm. is in the trunk. You got that set. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can happen when you put a battery in the trunk. Mainly, they say, if you want to do that, you run two cables all the way up to the front. But with Pete's, only there's a power cable running to the solenoid, and the ground is to the body. And when they say you do the ground to the body, then there's resistance in the steel until it can get up to the front where the ground then ties into the engine again. So they say you lose up to 20% of your cranking amps doing that way. We're going to figure that out today because we have an LMR battery tray, battery cables, so we could uh, put the battery back where it's originally supposed to go. And we're gonna kind of do a comparison. We're gonna show you guys here cranking it. It's been, I don't know how long it's been sitting for. Try initial crank, see if we can get it to turn over. No one even gonna touch the battery. We're gonna put the battery up front, hook it up the cables, and with the same battery, not even charging it up, try to crank it again. and. Uh, we're hoping for uh, a, <laughs> a lot more spinny spinny success to get time. it started and uh, follow along. Catch you back up in a second. All right, here's the, <laughs> the setup. We got a nice, pretty new Optima battery. You know, reasonably heavy cables, but I think these are just like car stereo style wires. We had a shut off, but it, we figured out that this kind of dropped current a little bit. So we tied in a second ground now going over worked. here to the body and that, that definitely helped. Yeah, it helps, but uh, it's still not where we want it to be. So uh No, it did struggle when it was it warm. Just, it just turns over too slow. Yeah, so let's uh let's pop the hood and this car ain't slow, John. <laughs> <laughs> well I have less of that talk, all right. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what's got up front. Yeah, hey, that's not too bad for a boat anchor. That's all right. <laughs> all right, we gotta get the MSD out. <laughs> These guys are kidding with each other. Uh, you know, the secondary thing is we gotta figure out we're gonna put this probably here or something. Yeah, all right. If we move this along and put this down there, uh -huh. the other bit can sit over the top. Just put it on here and we'll just have some wire thing. No, don't want, to, don't want any more holes <laughs> in it. <laughs> so, uh, well, let's try to give it a crank before we do anything. And uh, just see how it is from cold. Nope. No, it wasn't too bad, but uh, I don't want to let it warm up completely just to test that. Yeah. After all this work and money. So. <laughs> Bring it back in a few minutes. Man, that thing sounds like a super pro. Uh, all right, uh, hooked up just the battery. Ignition MSD box isn't hooked up. And we're just going to give it a go. Fingers. Clear. That's totally that's, different. That's way better. It's night and day. Totally different. Try one more time. <laughs> It's not even struggling. No, no. It's, it's, that's a problem with solving. Well, let's hook this up. We'll get the ignition. See how I got out of there, John? <laughs> Actually, it was so fast I didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pete had a, a back, some back surgery injection the other day. So that's why we haven't been up to much. Yeah, we've been all kind of doing summertime family things and yeah. medical things. And John had an operation on his shoulder. shoulder operation. And... All that. <laughs> so we're... Things are happening, but not as fast as normal. But uh, 
Yeah, so let's figure out how we're going to mount the MSD. And then we need to secure the battery because it's not tied down yet. It's a little, this one's a little too small for the mount. So, but uh, we'll figure that out. We'll come back with an engine running when it's hot and then give this a try again. Warm start. Warm start. All right, the install is all complete. Well, this is what we all took out. Uh, I'd say it's a, that's a solid six or seven or eight pounds. What do you think? I mean, yeah, it's, it's, all that wire and switches and hardware and all the nice. Uh, Oh, Joe, I'm going to have to put the cell size back on now because we'll put the battery up front. <laughs> so, yeah. All good and rigid. MSD box. All down there. Yeah, looks all right down there, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's no problem with it right there. Still up and out of the any weather if you get into it. The clean install. Well, we haven't tried to restart it again. We just tried to crank it and uh, let's just give it a go. I don't expect anything crazy, but it should crank well first time. We haven't even charged it again since. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hear you. What was that? Well, here's the, the big test. Will it turn again? Easily. Ah. Go on, baby. <laughs> well, that's all what you want. Well, I got up to one sixty. Yeah, so. well. The Holly says like 172, and yeah. the your temp gauge was like 160 something yeah. for the automated gauge. So it's, I mean, the thermostat open, it's, it's hot. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, there we go. I mean, definitely uh, way, way better. I mean, no complaints at all, really. No, that's done the job, isn't it? So. Time to start drinking. <laughs> drinking. Drink. Five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, there's a, our little weekend project. We'll be yeah, taking a little uh, hiatus. Just after lunch. Yeah. We're going to have something to drink. And uh, I'll be heading back to the States here for a couple weeks. 
Yeah, Doing I'm sanctioned. There. Loser. <laughs> I will. And, uh, Not approved. <laughs> Not approved. Now these guys will be left to their uh, their own devices. Me, just drink it. While I'm going without voice. adult supervision. And, uh, <laughs> I'm a shit face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll catch you guys next uh, another video. We'll get up and some shit while he's away. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to put your south side part yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, guys. See you later. <laughs> Just put gas in it today. <laughs> Wonder why it smelled of fuel. I guess I got a fuel leak somewhere. Oh, she's tripping. <laughs> Wonder where the hell that's from. I'll have to figure that out later, but I'm sure the wife's gonna. I hate to smell the gas in the garage, but oh well.